uh, so <clears throat> it's done doing that now so uh, one thing I would like to do is to let me save this first save this first then I would export first export also let me export this out as obj selected yeah, obj let me name this to uh, uh, fold studio okay, let me name this studio drip drip let me name this to try this is triangulated uh, single mesh, we're dead. Yeah, all of this should be fine. Unified coordinate, EV coordinate, that's fine. Okay, so and I'm going to triangulate this. Come on, what is going on? Can't I get options in here? <laughs> it's really annoying. Can I get options in here? Goodness sakes. Oh, you, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Come on. Come on. Goodness sakes. Let's run simulation first. Stop the simulation. Select this. Oh, finally, finally. So let's quadrangulate instead. Because right now I believe we have um, what's it called? We have um, triangles in here. Show. Gam. Show. Huh? Yeah, should be a uh, show mesh okay okay it's already triangulated okay it's already triangulated that's cool so let's put this back in here yeah we we'll actually have nice we have good dripping in here now let me save this again Around the simulation, so I drag this out again. Find a good Looking for a good draping effect on this. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot. Maybe just put this a bit more. Nah. Think okay, let 
we will move this this way so i kind of pinned this part now I kind of like the way the like the way the folds are on this part so on this other part now let me see, let's run this again to get better folds on this part So I'm simulating this again. Let's see if we can get something interesting in there. Once I find something, I find something that works, I will just post it and keep that instead. Let me just align this set tool. There are some interceptions in here that I don't want. Okay, almost there. <laughs> this is like this is like a harder thing to do without sculpting all those changes in there. Ah, almost, almost. The upper part is too rough. Okay, so I'll pin this also, I'll pin this part so pin this part. Okay, I'll pin that part. So let's just see what we can make of this. Final part in here. Okay, I think this should be fine. So I would unpin all of this so so hold control draw out a broad selection on top of all of this I 
think after frustrating you guys with a lot of waiting, I think we can work with this. Let me go back in here. So this should be fine. So I'll just export this out. Export. Sell. No, nothing is not selected. Export. 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 Selected. <coughs> Uh, and just to quad quad, all right. So, I'm putting this out now, it should be fine. Click OK, right? So, if you go back to a boob up in Maya, let's come in here, let's bring that garment in here. I think I can just delete this. Preview the previous. Mm, I think I'm hiding this also. Mm, let's 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 review that. Let's use that as template too. As measuring scale for this uh, for this drape just created. 13 MB. That was, that, that, that's a lot. 29 MB. Okay. I think I went crazy on this. I think Maya would hold just fine. Should hold just fine in Maya. So scale this up. Scale this up. Up. Let's hide this for now. Oh, well, that's really something. So. On the con, whoa, this is just a, it's even flipped. Great, it's flipped. It's flipped. So let's reverse normal. Huh? Normals are not being reversed. Awesome. Should do this in here reverse. Fantastic. It's actually, it's actually reversed. So for the camera setup, I think we need to. I think the value. Let's put zero in here. Zero zero in here. Put this to one. Yeah, I should see this properly now. Let's increase this to ten. Yeah, so we should see this properly now. So let's look for a good spot. So we have, you can see we have different spots that we can pick from. Different spots we can pick from. Let's scale this down some more. Like so. We can decide, can decide to use these spots. Yeah, yeah, we can decide to use this. Spots instead for our render. Let's see what we have. Yeah, I need to scale this down even more. It's just for us to have something interesting at the background, actually, not no, just to have interesting, interesting background shape to it. See if this this way a bit more just to capture some of those drips. So I'll select this now, I'll just use the same studio. I'll use the same studio or backdrop in there. Maybe put this a bit more to the side, like so. Okay. Okay. Seems like a good spot. Yeah, I can see the difference now. I can see the difference in here now. So let's just let's see. Okay. Let me use the top view and just push this. Let me get a closer view in here. 
just push this this way let's look for get this back the camera view maybe leave this up a bit more yeah this will work okay save this yeah i know right went through a lot of effort just to make this Come on. Minimize this. So let's fire this up now. We should have something interesting at the back. Huh? What is this? All black. Strange. Stop this. That is the strangest thing. Let's do reverse normal again. Come on. Yes. Shut up. <clears throat> So you can see it gives us interesting background to it. Let me stop this for now. Get camera view in the fire the render. Even stop this. Scale the backdrop down a bit more. Be up a bit higher. Scale this out. Just looking for a good angle for it. Click with save. This block in my view. Great. Let's try this up again. Get this closer. Of this, I think we need to push this. I can see the cutout from the other end, so let me just push this out like this. Okay. <clears throat> We can work this. All right, this is just it's just to get an interesting bag to this. Just to get an interest, interesting bag, nothing special. All right, maybe closer. Okay.
Yeah, something like this. I'm just going to save this on our last render, then I'll come back when it's done. Uh, let me stop this. Let's try. Let's use the same similar angle from similar angle from mm, do this here. Do this even more. Let's use a similar angle from. pretty close okay Just, I'm freaking out with this. Uh, at the same time, I don't want to make it draw too much attention, so let me just stick with this. Stick with this angle. Stick with this angle instead. Okay. I feel like making shade a bit darker though. In the backdrop shade a bit darker. A bit darker. Too dark. See too bright. That seems fair. Make a quick save. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Let me just send out this at a higher resolution. So let's do 200%.